guys, this is Kerry Jordan, also known as Kerry the Label Guy. I'm a tuner that has been working on BM3 for quite a while now. I've had the pleasure of working on BM3, and uh, I wanted to share BM3 with the world. And uh, this is going to be a three-part series, tutorial, if you will, on how to use BM3, what it is, what it does, how it works. And we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. So uh, welcome to my video. This is... Uh, BM3, this is the splash screen for BM3. And right off the bat, you'll see the uh, website here, www.bootmode.net. The three is an E. You don't have to call it this. You can call it, a lot of people call it boot mod three, or, you know, there's all kinds of different ways of saying it. But we, uh, we typically call it boot mode, and uh, to shorten it, it's BM3. So right off the rip, you're going to notice here on the splash screen that uh, you can sign in. And there's an offline mode that you can use. I'll explain exactly how this works later. Um, you, if you're not already in the BM3 family, you can make an account. If you have an account, you can sign in. Under that is detecting OBD agent. If I was if I was connected to my car and had the agent up and running, you would be able to see uh, whether or not you were connected to the agent here. And under that's the version of the uh, website we're running. So let's go ahead and sign in and get started. All right, so here we are right here. As soon as you sign in, it takes you to the first tab. If you click here on the far up, upper left-hand corner, that's the menu button. It'll bring up all these different tabs. Very first one you come to is going to be the Vehicles tab. And if you notice here, it says OBD Disconnected in, in red. If you were connected to your agent software or the, uh, the hardware that you can buy from Pro Tuning Freaks that allows you to connect using your phone, it would say OBD connected here in blue. If you click on this, it gives you some information. Um, I specialize in S55 tuning. I can do others, but S I, I have a S55 development car. So in this particular instance, uh, all of the all the stuff that you see here will pertain to the S55. Now BM3 is not stuck on just the S55. You can also tune N55, both uh, Pneumatic wastegate, electronic wastegate N55, the S55, obviously the N20, and several other F series, modern F series engines. Uh, but in this case, we're dealing with the S55 uh, for this tutorial. Okay, and uh, if you are connected, some other information would pop up here, but right under that it says download. This is to update your agent software. It's always good to have an updated version installed and then uh, under that some information about the OBD Wi-Fi device. The next one down is the dashboard. If I was connected to the car, the dashboard right here would light up with uh, live gauges and I can change the live gauges that I would want to see in my dashboard here by clicking on the little settings icon. Obviously I'm not connected to the car so there's nothing here currently and again you can update your OBD agent hardware's agent software with this link, this download link. All right, now the next one down is the data log page, or tab, should I say. Uh, from here, all the data logs that you take using your car, or when you're connected to your car, all the data logs you, that you capture, either using a laptop such as this, or your OBD agent using your phone, the hardware black box, all of it ends up into, all of it gets uploaded into this data logs tab. The cool thing about this is because BM3 is based completely around the, uh, the cloud, all your data logs always end up in the same spot. It doesn't matter what computer you use. If you use, use if you use a computer, and then the next day you decide to use your phone, or if you're out doing some tuning, it's a combination. If you take a data log, no matter how you take the data log, it's always going to end up in this page, which is awesome. So it's easy to keep track of. And then from this page, you can share the link, you can view the, view the graph, and you can rename it to something other than the date and time. If you want to clear all your data logs, you can hit clear all and it'll, it'll delete them all. And then once again, it tells you again, and I like this is another thing that you'll notice a lot in BM3. There's many places to download the new agent 
if, you, if there's a new agent update, there's many places to either download to get started or to update the OBD agent. And in this case, here's another download link. Then you have the Diagnostics tab, which is really cool. You can scan DTCs, Diagnostic Trouble Codes. You can read them. You can clear them. It's very easy to use, very cut and dry. You can reset DME adaptations. Now, this is for the DME only. This doesn't include uh, DCT adaptations and all the other ad adaptations that all the different modules have. This just pertains to the DME itself. You can reset that here. Uh, exhaust valve actuation. I don't use this typically. Um, I'll tune my exhaust valves the way I want them. Um, and if I'm tuning a customer's car, I tune theirs the way they want them. Typically, they don't, you wouldn't necessarily use th these features. They're here should you decide to use them. Uh, they're mainly, probably, mostly for diagnostic purposes. Because you, with, and in, in BM3, you have complete control over this stuff from within the flash. Um, and then the next one down is active sound. Now, I don't recommend that you ever mess with this. This is also for diagnostics. Um, this can screw up your burble. I've seen it happen. I've spent hours troubleshooting burble issues when this was the problem. So don't mess with this unless uh, somebody like me or somebody else from PTF or something like that says, hey, mess with this. Other than that, leave it alone. And then down here uh, below that is the DME power reset on the left-hand side, lower left, and then a DME read, okay? A DME power reset, these are both obviously used for diagnostics purposes and for testing purposes. Um, you don't necessarily have to mess with any of this or even really know what it does and, unless somebody tells you to do it. If, uh, if I tell you to do it or another tuner or PTF or something like that tells you to do it, then you would mess with these. But beyond that, they're not really to be screwed with, to be honest with you. Um, so from diagnostics, we'd go to the OBD agent tab. Now, I'm not connected to my car, but if I was and I was running my black OBD agent box, information on how to update that box and information on the box would be here. I suggest you uh, refer to Pro Tuning Freaks' uh, documentation on BM3 to find out more about how that works. The next one's going to be uh, maps, maps page, and I've got a whole bunch of maps here. These are the maps that I've made. These are also uh, for you, for the end user. You wouldn't necessarily have all of these maps in your maps page. You would have a stock map, maybe an OTS map here, kind of like this one, an OTS map, um, and uh, uh, maybe a custom tune map that's like maybe I made for you or another tuner made for you. Beyond that, all this other stuff is used for tuning. I've got tons of maps in here that you wouldn't necessarily have. Now, at the very top of this, it says Request Tune. If you wanted to do a custom map, custom tuning map with a tuner, with a different tuner, not necessarily a different tuner, but other than an OTS map or your stock map, and you wanted to do a custom map like a fully 85 map, which I've got to plug the fact that you can do fully 85 on the S55. I know it's shameless, but you can. I figured it out. I can do it. But anyway, if you wanted to request something like that or a custom tune from another tuner, you'd hit request tune. What this does is it automatically makes a copy of your stock tune, sends the stock tune to the tuner of your choice with a description. You put the map name in here. You would select who you would want to... Uh, to tune the car. You put the details of your request and then you hit request. At that point it would send the request to the tuner. The tuner would click on tune requests and there's the tune. Alright, so back into my maps. So the cool thing here is that you can change the, not necessarily for the stock map, but for any other map you can change the um, Actually, I think it will let you do that. Yeah, it'll let me do that too for the stock map. I can change the name for all of these maps. I didn't think it let you do it on the stock map, but it does. So that's what this uh, this bar here changes. It'll let you change the details. The next bar over is the editor. 
It puts you into the editor so you can edit the map. If you do not know what you're doing, I suggest you stay out of this. Um, I can show you, we're going to show you how to do a couple cool little things like op lock your exhaust valves open and stuff like that. We'll get to that later. So that's the editor. Flash restore and flash force. You don't really have to mess with these too much unless you're uh, instructed to. And then this big red bar down here is flash. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I was connected to the OBD agent, connected to the car, and I wanted to flash the stock map, once I, everything was connected, you would know it was connected by this point, uh, by the, uh, the indicators I showed earlier. You'd click on flash here, and it would flash the, uh, the stock map to your DME. And when you click flash, a little box comes up instructing you what exactly to do, what it's, what's expected to, to have a successful flash. I suggest that you read that and that you, uh, you adhere to the uh, recommendations. It'll save you a lot of heartache and pain. All right, so that's the maps page, or tab, should I say. Tune request, you've already seen that. Tuners page. Next tab down is the transmission page or tab. Uh, with BM3, one of the cool things about BM3 is that you automatically get, without paying any extra, the M4 GTS DCT transmission flash. This is awesome. If you're tuned, you need to run it. There's really no reason for you not to run it. It shifts faster. It shifts smarter. And uh, it increases the clamping forces on the DCT clutches. Which, by the way, you're doing a flash tune. Uh, you won't have any of the you can the, the DCT clutches, like say for instance on the S55, can handle a lot more torque than than what was originally uh, originally thought during the piggyback days of the J, of the uh, S55, and uh, clutches were slipping with piggyback use pretty early on in torque output. When you're doing a flash like this, you can fix that. So that helps a lot. And then you can do the GTS transmission flash, which really helps. You can hold a lot more torque. And uh, I mean, it's really the only way to go, to be honest with you. And then the next one under that is the stock transmission flash. Should you decide to go back to stock for whatever reason, you can do that. You can flash back to stock. <clears throat> Then the about page. The about page is pretty cool. It's got some information. What version you're running. Uh, the sign up date. Your email address. Your screen name. Username. <clears throat> and then on the, on the top left here you have a connection test. It gives you the ability to test your connection. If you're not using Wi-Fi. Or even if you are using Wi-Fi and you don't have a, you're not sure if you have a really good connection. To have successful flashes you can test it. And should you need it, you can reset the whole, all the settings in BM3 right here. All right, so that's the basic rundown on how BM3 works. I'm going to stop this video here, and uh, I'm going to continue on with video number two. Video number two will go into a little more detail on how to edit maps, and then... Uh, and I'll go over some more information in video two as well. And then there'll be a video three after that. So just hang tight.